Hello and welcome back to the Penny Arcade Rainslick Presby of Darkness Guide. It's me, your host, Lord Lamo, so we'll just be continuing on from here. As with every RPG ever made, ever, smashing stuff gets you items. Those strange men again. We will make their acquaintance soon. Observe these bottles. Damn fine bottles. Once they held wholesome milk. Known to promote bone health. Calcio. Now they keep a sinister secret. Is it porn? Let us discover this secret now. Alright, milk porn! You're not porn. Ah, we can also use our... Okay, no we can't. I was wrong. Oh wait, we can. We can use our support character's attack. Now, Kim. I must say that I expect more from our feline companion. Nah. Now, Kemper is one of those one in a million type support characters, in that you have a one in one million chance of killing every character on screen with his attack. Yeah, I've done it once. But if we're really, really horribly lucky, we'll see it again during this uh, walkthrough. It's actually an achievement if you can get, if you can do it. But it's actually one of these finger achievements that has to make one enemy you kill. Just one, or else it doesn't count. Die, fruit humper. Or fruit fucker, whichever your preference is. I have a bandage and three pieces of random machinery. Joy. <laughs> yes, pretty much inspecting anything will give you an insane line or some sort of insanely stupid funny quote. Ah, remember to check both sides of the street, kids. Not only does it protect you from getting run over, it helps you find items. A truly complete diet always includes fresh seasonal fruits. We should collect some from that nearby tree. Let's do that, boys. Let's go on a fruit collecting expedition. To interact with an item, approach it carefully. When an icon appears, press the X button. Well do, voice. X button. <laughs> Smash. Let us continue. Ah, more robots. These. Uh, anyway, as it says. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Blah. You use the orange, and the robots don't know what to do as they go nuts for it. Literally. Yeah. Wow. Bet you didn't see that coming, did ya? Die. Haha. -ha. You are dead. Um, as you block our counter attack enemies, the hits meter under your name slowly goes up. The higher that gets, the more powerful your, att your attacks become. So basically you can get up to a chain of about 40, maybe 20 I think. On the other one it's 40. This one it's maybe 20, I'm not sure. Do, 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 level up. There we go. I got my first special attack, the Grand Slam. Let's continue you onward. You are progressing even faster than I thought possible. That means a lot, boys. Will it be fast enough? I wonder. I'll do my best for you. As you gain experience defeating enemies, your power grows. Yeah. Already you have earned a potent new ability. Down straight. And I have faith you'll soon have an opportunity to use it. Yay! Opportunities are rising. Yeah, I love that person. <laughs> No earthly mechanic. 
Here we go. Ah, no, damn it, I was so close. No, don't leave. Now for the special attack. These things work very different. You've got to get it in the yellow. If you do, you get an overkill. The more overkills you get, slowly make, slowly give you extra points at the end of every fight. In fact, I'll point it out the minute I kill this little dude. La, 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 la. Bang. Right there under my name. Slowly, the more overkill attacks you do, the more extra damage you gain throughout the game. It's worth doing it simply so that you can kick ass. La 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 la. It's a bandage. Next panel. Woo! Comic themes are go go, baby. It is they! And the fellows who ran after that hulking contraption. Indeed, it is they! What knowledge have they gleaned from that great depression? No doubt created by its gigantic foot module. Module. Perhaps we should ask them. Let's do that. Go on, don't be shy. Oh, they but... seem nice. Well, that one seems nice. I bet he does. Let's talk to Gabe, because he is my bestest friend. I can say with certainty that this is not a Yeti print. Were you here? No, so you don't know. We saw what made this. We were chasing it. Seriously, do you remember? It was five minutes ago. You always, you've always underestimated the Yeti threat. Um, hello? Gabriel, do you remember what your job is? Yeah. And what is that job? To punch devils? And do you see any devils? I don't know. Maybe. Do you? No. And be quiet. Daddy's working. Hello, I'm talking here. Here I am. Oh, hello. Sorry, didn't see you there. Who are you guys? I'm Taicho Brain, and this... John Gabriel, starting development detective agency. Here's my card. You have cards? I was thinking about getting some. Do you guys see things like this a lot? Actually, for us, giant robots are fairly normal. Our speciality lie in tracking down tainted artifacts and thwarting ancient evil gods. Sometimes both! He's right, and in those cases, we do offer a discount. You guys are following that... thing? Actually, yeah. It's not an official case or anything. You might call it professional curiosity. Why? Hmm, for murderous reasons, mostly. I'd like to find out who made it, so I can kill them. I thought we saw you back there, but... Was that you with your mouth agape in horror? Agape? It means open. You know, what else means open? Open! That's great. I apologize. We have a uh, unique working relationship. That robot wrecked my house. I want in. Of its vengeance you crave, you're welcome to come along. We've got a spare room in the office should you need a robot-free place to rest your head. Come on, I think I know where to start looking. Chai... Chaicho Aramis Bray. New party member. Foundling... The founder of the Startling Developments Detective Agency. Let's go! Gabe, you come? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Jonathan Gabriel. Everything was going great. That is, until he thought, fought the devil. There we go. We now have our full party. And an extra special attack. Indeed. We also get team up attacks in this game. Boom! You are dead. Sadly, those don't count as overkill attacks. They're just more attack attacks. Attack, attack. All right, now it's sort of line a few things up for you. Gabe doesn't do much damage, but he's the fastest guy of all of us, so he always get to attack first. Uh, Ty Tyco, he's got. The least amount of health, but he does the most damage. 
Gabe has the most health, but as I said a minute ago, he doesn't do much damage. And you, well, you play the middle guy. So basically, you're the average one out of them all, all of them. All right, uh, this is the last bit. It'll probably, yeah, I'll probably be able to kill these guys right. Be okay, maybe not. Damn. Yeah, you know, roll for initiative. Whoever gets the highest, at least. whoever gets the highest, ends up winning the thing, and they get to go first. Yep, that should distract them long enough for us to attempt killing them. Boom! You're dead. As are you. Like I said, he does the most damage, so yeah, he pretty much kills everything one hit. Oh, oh crap! Sorry, I just lost track of time. Stay tuned next time for part three.